How we doing? Good, how are you, man? Good. What's your name? Brendan. Drew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, how old are you, Brendan? I'm 22 now. 22. And what brings you in today? Um, currently, I'm looking into some addiction issues. I've uh, tried a couple different uh, resolutions for that, and I heard you're the guy to come talk to you about that. Um, what, what exactly are you talking about? So for, for me personally, just for little outsiders in, uh, caffeine has been a problem for me. Uh, kind of can't go a day without. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. You know, just keep going. Just, can, can we clip that out? Clip it. Um, caffeine's been an issue for me personally. Um, day to day, I just seem to get really bad headaches going without it. So for me to, uh, to go every day, caffeine free would be my, my ultimate goal. I, I mean, I've tried alternatives and and things of that nature, but it's been really hard for me to cut that out completely out of my diet and out of my everyday. So, just uh, so what about um, what what kind of caffeine are we talking about? Coffee, energy drinks? Uh, so it started off with coffee, and and uh, with like a busy work schedule, I progressed to a couple cups of coffee a day, and then eventually it graduated to energy drinks, and that's when I kind of started to see like a problem. Um, obviously, the sugar intakes and everything like that can't be can't be too good for you, but I can't find a way to really cut it completely out of my everyday diet. So um, now we're looking at, you know, sometimes I can end a day of work, an eight hour shift with three, four Red Bulls in the trash can at the end of the day. So obviously just trying to look for alternatives to take care of not only my heart, my heart, but um, like my sugar intakes, my calorie intakes, all those things as well. So yeah, absolutely. And what do you do for work that makes you want to have, you know, stay awake and all this stuff? So I, uh, I work at a bank, so there's a lot of uh, sitting. I don't really. <laughs> a bank? <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? Yeah, <clears throat> so um, I just work at a bank every day. So it's long eight hour shifts, just kind of a lot of sitting around. Them. Uh, so I mean, it's your everyday desk job, right? So Yeah, so nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting. So um, uh, to keep me going, I mean, Monday through Friday, it's tough to sit there and, and to be personable with people without having that extra boost. So yeah, absolutely. Um, when did you start realizing that you might have a problem? So, um, for me personally, I, uh, I started working here at the, the bank not too far around the corner uh, two years ago. So at first, I loved my job. First couple months, everything went real smooth. Uh, you know, getting out of bed every day, there's no, no issue really with me, but now it's, it's kind of been repetitive. It's been the same thing over and over again for me. So, so that's when I started noticing, you know, okay, cup of coffee in the morning, gradually turns into a cup of coffee in the morning, lunch, and then I'm, I'm grabbing coffee on the way out, and then now we're at a point in, in my day where, you know, it's it's energy drinks, it's more severe, and it's the 16 ounce Red Bulls, and I can't really seem to find a way to, to stop my, my energy drink intake. So do you, when, when you're at a normal day with your energy drinks or coffee, do you start um, right away when you get up with a cup of coffee, yeah. and then you make a pit stop at the gas station and get what you need for the day or? Yeah, so I mean, it's gotten to a point where, I mean, I'm not going out of the house to, to head to work without a cup of coffee. Uh, I usually brew a pot right there once I wake up and uh, stop at the gas station. I get my stock of my Red Bulls and my Monsters, my energy drinks, and I, I bring those in with me to work. And, uh, you know, every now and then I'll walk out of there with a couple saves the next day, but usually, typically, I'm, I mean, I'm drinking all of those within the, the average work day. Okay. Have you tried to stop at all, or have it not really been a thought until now? You know, I, it's been a thought, but it's not been something I've really pursued, per se. Um, I think it's, you know, I see people doing it all the time. Everybody's got their coffees, and everybody's got their energy drinks in my, in my work environment, so I've never really sweated it. I've never been like, hey, maybe this is an issue for me, but, you know, with the excessiveness and not only that, but with what it's doing to my bank account, you know, making a stop every day to buy fifteen dollars, twenty dollars worth of energy drinks, it's kind of it's kind of running me dry. So, for me to be able to quit would not only bring uh, obviously keep more money in my wallet, but it yeah, would and make you know, me that a healthier was, person. Yeah, absolutely, that was one thing I was going to bring up. I mean, when you're talking about you know the health side effects, but also the bank account, you know, you could save a lot of money that you could buy. Um, other things with I think a good thing would probably be um, pros and cons of of you know spending that much money what you could use it for bills um, you know I don't know how much you make at the bank or whatever but you know in today's world every dollar counts so I think that should be something right. that you should think about as well um, <clears throat> has it affected you like 
personal life other than, you know, money and feeling, um, you know, feeling unhealthy about it, you know, friends, family or anything like that? Yeah, so I mean, getting off at five o'clock and heading home, you know, you want to spend time with your friends, your family, and, and for me, after that excessive amount of caffeine and taking all that down, it's it comes with a terrible crash. So. I go home and I, I mean I feel terrible every day. Irritated it, and I'm I'm really irritable when I'm coming down on energy drinks. So it only makes you want either more or I pretty much shut off for the day. So I'm talking, you know, once work's done, I'm either checked out and I'm done for the day, or I'm I'm still putting more of those energy drinks in my body, which aren't really helping anything either, and they just make me be jittery and and unable to uneasy to sit still, and it's nothing that I need, especially in my household as well. So. So what what is your what is your goal? Like, why did you come here? Are you wanting to quit enter, you know quit caffeine completely, or are you trying to cut it in half, or or what's your um, ultimate long term goal? So essentially, I think that at some point in my life, especially, uh, I plan on working up the chain in the bank, and and eventually, you know, making as much money as I can through that uh that program. But but cutting them out completely would be my goal. You know, it would be. Uh, be awesome if I could just, you know, instead of caffeine, it was water or something, but it's a lot easier said than done. So I think short term goals for me personally would be um, to be cutting them in at least in half because not only would it, I mean, save me money, like you said earlier, but it could, um, I mean, obviously better for my heart and things like that. So I'm just looking to at least make progress every day and to, to cut back essentially. So, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when, when you're thinking about plans like this, it's something that you've been doing for quite a while now, so stopping cold turkey would be almost impossible and not right. realistic. Right. So when you're, you know, when you're talking about what you you should, what you can do, um, you should really focus on, you know, small term goals. You know, what you can change this next month, um, and then once you get that under the belt, you can start focusing on, you know, that long time goal. But to 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 sit here and tell you that. You know, if you'd be able to cut it cold turkey tomorrow, that'd be impossible. Right. You know, something your body is so used to and something you've been doing for quite a while now, it's a routine. So, you know, it's like a bad habit that you start. And, you know, the only thing that you can do is obviously you've recognized it now. So now you got to make a, a plan on how to assess the situation, um, you know, pros and cons, and really focus on trying to cut it out of your, your life, you know, right. a little bit at a time. So like you said, yeah, I don't think there's any shot of me being able to go cold turkey per se right off, right away. So I think uh, a necessity for me getting out of bed and, and making it to work every day at 8 a.m. It's going to happen where I'm going to have my, my cup of coffee or my energy drink, but maybe uh, just not making that gas station run. Do you think would you'd advise maybe just not even providing myself with the opportunity to be stocked with with drinks like that for the day, or what would you suggest for someone that's that's trying to at least phase it out of their diet and then phase it out of their life? Well, for someone um, like you that's been doing it for a little while, um, I think that, you know, if you're going two cups of coffee and four energy drinks a day, maybe start with that one cup of coffee, four energy drinks a day, try that for a week, and then you can go one cup of coffee, three energy drinks a day. You know, you don't want to gradually cut it in half because your body will react differently to it as well, right. and you'll feel more irritable than when you do when you're on it. Right. Um, you know, lucky for you, it's not something hardcore, but if you keep that lifestyle up, it's going to be really um, detrimental to your health, and um, even if it doesn't affect your money, you know, your health as you get older and stuff like that, you know, there's uh, science behind the energy drinks of why they're, you know, not good for a person. So right. for someone to be taking four of them a day right now, you know, if we can grab it by the horn and, and try to fix it, I think you'll be fine in the long run. Right, I guess for me, um, being a younger guy, like obviously family isn't something, like my own family personally isn't something that I, I have to look out for now, but it's definitely a goal, an interim goal, so when I really lay out the pros and cons, um, something for me is to live a long, healthy life, so putting it that way really is an eye-opener for me and, and, and trying to be able to cut those drinks out just so I'm, I'm healthier and more long-term is enough to scare me away from from the energy drinks yeah absolutely so I think we'll you know come up with a plan um, the pros and cons list for sure and then like I said we'll go one cup of coffee 400 drinks one cup of coffee 300 drinks and then you know as our 
um, sessions move along, I think that we'll be able to make progress. Right. Awesome. awesome. Yep. Nice to meet you, Brendan. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for your help. Thank you.